OK, so here's going to be another example where we're going to want to apply elimination because we don't have either of our variables isolated or with a coefficient of 1 or negative 1. So to apply elimination, I need to get the coefficient, regardless of the sign, to be exactly the same. So what I notice is if I multiply my top equation by 2, what I'll have now is coefficients of the x and of the y that are exactly the same. Now, we only need one of them to be the same. But in this case, we actually are going to end up with both of them being the same, but they will have opposite signs, which is OK, because when they have opposite signs, that just means we add the two equations. All right. So now when we add the two equations, by applying elimination, we get 0x plus 0y equals 32. Well, 0x plus 0y, that becomes 0. So 0 equals 32. Now, 0 equals 32 is not a correct uh, statement, all right? This is, inc this, is, uh, this is not equal each other. So therefore, our system of equations, there's not a value for x and for y that is going to make our, make our system true. Therefore, this system has no solution. And if we were to graph this, it would produce our parallel lines. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you solve a system with no solution. Thanks.